welcome back to part four of the milling vice restoration and conversion uh, i'd also like to welcome aboard all my new subscribers i hope you enjoy the content on the channel now where i left you off in part three i still had the table to do and uh, mount up the new rails that i made a few other little bits and pieces a new uh, lead screw i'll have to make a new uh, micrometer dial for it but we'll get on with it and finish it off so follow me over here to the drill press and we'll get on with it well viewers lucky last didn't think i was going to get here today it's been bloody forever it's taken me about uh, two and a half hours to drill these holes this morning and it's not the end of it i want to finish drilling this one because then i've got to counter sink them all and then flip it over and then counter drill them all with uh, the slightly oversized drill so that I'm only tapping this piece of metal here. But anyway, let's drill this last hole. And that's one hole closer to finishing this job. That's just somewhere to put a weld into. Alrighty, next cab off the rank. Uh, using 6mm bolts in this, so I'm going to use a quarter inch drill, which is about 6.25, something like that, uh, just uh, for some bolt clearance down through here, and to make it easier, just get down in there with the tap, and I'll drill them down to the top of uh, this bar here, so that all I'm tapping when I run the tap down is just that, nothing else. And once I've been over it with that drill, I'll go over it with this counter sink countersink them all and then chamfer all the holes and so forth and so on. Oh, had one of these swarf octopuses lash out and bite me on the arm there before. Not too bad, just a graze. But that's that done. Alrighty, so the brush cutter stopped and my wife and a friend have stopped flapping their gums. Uh, we can do a bit more. Uh, this is going to be a little tricky because I don't have a stop. This shitty little plastic thing broke ages ago and I haven't got around to making a new one. I'm going to make an aluminium one and uh, replace it. So I'm just going to have to rely on these and eyeball them. I hope I don't go too deep uh, or too shallow for that matter. But anyway, I'll get on with this. This counter sink's a bit blunt from uh, from another time I was knocking holes in SC, S45C and it just didn't like it. It was bluntening the things off so badly. This, I think, stop moving around too much. You can always grind the top off the bolt if it's too shallow or too deep, rather. Geez, geez, I wish I had an XY table. <laughs> Jeez, I produced some swarf today. God. I cleaned all this bench up before I started and I'm going to have to clean it up again afterwards even though I've been cleaning up all this crap as I go. Well, this will take a long time and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Well, that's a bummer. I've only got eight holes into it and it's struggling and it keeps jamming up all the time and I think it's got a bit blunt. So I'm going to jump onto Lazada right now and order a new one and hopefully I'll get it dispatched tomorrow and I'll have it on uh, Tuesday. Well viewers, I've never been one to uh, give up all that easy. I jumped in and I ordered, ordered a new cutter and then I thought, I don't really want to wait till Tuesday. So I came back out and gave it another go and it was uh, just a real mixed bag. Some of them cut really nicely and others had, I had to fight it for every millimetre it cut. Some out along this edge here um, were worse than others and I don't know why. But anyway, they're all done now, so in the morning I'll scan for them all and then sit down and spend the next couple of hours hand tapping the damn things. Well I do believe I sit in the last little grab that uh, I was going to do this by hand, but stuff that. I've never been a real big fan of uh, power tapping things because I don't want to break my taps, but I've just done that whole row across the top there and it's going pretty well, so I think I'll just continue on with this.
All right, this will still take a while, so I'll get back to you later. Well, lucky last. And it hasn't been all smooth sailing. You know, this whole top row has been difficult to get through. That one, I had to get it in there by hand. I just couldn't drive it through there. So I don't know what it is about this, this edge here, this row. But it's tough going. Another one that doesn't want to play ball. Oh well, tapping by hand. Have to do two by hand uh, a lot better than doing 52 by hand, I suppose. Well, I did those four by hand. So that'll be six out of the 52. 54, whatever it was. Damn, it's hot here today. Once again, I'm uh, down underneath the fan, so I can't turn it on because it makes too much noise in the camera. This is my little, uh, this old Tony uh, tap wrench copy. If you haven't seen that uh, that build yet, I'll put a link up there now so you can see it up there. It's a very unconventional build because I just don't have the flash gear that this old Tony has. Uh, to make his, but Jesus, a great little uh, tap wrench. Beautiful, it is. Okay, so that's that. We'll uh, get into it and screw a shitload of bolts into it, and we'll get on with it. Alrighty, I don't know what took longer, tapping the threads or screwing the bolts in. But anyway, I just looked at the clock and realised that it's. Uh, Two hours since I started this morning. This table has taken up so much of my time. Anyway, so now I'm going to weld all the heads up. Some of these countersinks were a bit deep, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to weld them up anyway and grind it off. And when I'm when we're all done and the whole thing's finished, the intention is to uh, make a fly cutter and fly cut the top of this anyway. So, all right. Now I don't want to be cleaning slag out of these, so I better hit it with some uh, some anti spatter. Turn this thing on, we'll get started. Can't even see that. Actually having a hard time seeing these damn things. Bring you back later. Well, that didn't come up as well as I'd hoped it would, but it's still damn hot. I haven't done anything to this now for more than an hour. It's still too hot to uh, leave your hands resting on it. I've ended up with a heap of bloody inclusions in it. Uh, some of them will most likely come out when I run the fly cutter over it. And the ones that don't, well, we'll just call them adding character. So I guess the next thing, uh, next cab off the rank will be to uh, fix those dovetail rails to the bottom and then sort out the, uh, the lead screw, a plate for the end, a handle and a micrometer wheel. Well, I didn't think I was going to get a chance to videotape this. There's a road crew out, uh, outside my place to play some manhole covers and man are they noisy. But uh, there they go, got the grinder going again. But uh, I'll film some of this for you and I'll bring you back later and hopefully they'll piss off and, and stop making so much noise. Well, it's, uh, it's not perfect, but it achieved what I wanted. Looks like it didn't have it completely flat because it's cutting uphill there. But it took enough off to uh, do what I needed to do, and it was probably the easiest way of doing it. Uh, that power feeding it back out actually gave it a better finish because it was chewing into it. But anyway, it'll do the job. Alrighty, so uh, yesterday afternoon I spent a bit of time getting the uh, the rail in the backside here set up and she slides really nicely now and uh, today I need to sort out the gib and the mounting of this one up under there it's not going to be easy I don't think but anyway I'll, 
get into it and I'll see how we go. Well there we have it viewers, after uh, three and a half days and 72 bolts, we have a table. Come out on top of that thing. Oh, what a job. Alrighty viewers, it's uh, 9.30 Thursday morning and if I'm going to have this whole thing finished by tomorrow afternoon so I can edit it and the uh, evening on Friday I've got to get my finger out. I'm going to drill four holes in here and tap them for some uh, adjusting screws. Then I've got to cut this damn thing off and uh, make up a new uh, nut fitting for here. Then I need to make a plate for the front of the, the uh, table. Machine up some alloy to take the bearings, make up a dial. Uh, and if I have to sacrifice anything to get this published by Saturday morning, I'll sacrifice the dial, because that can wait. But anyway, I'll get on with it. <laughs> Not the most secure setup I've ever used. But I barely fit this in here, so uh, I'm just glad I can get it in there at all. Took me quarter an hour to clean all this bloody swarf up from here this morning. Oh, that's that done. I'm not going to try power tapping these because I definitely don't want to break this little M5 tap of mine. Only decent one I got. So it's all by hand. And that's that. Man, that didn't half take some getting off that. But anyway, I had to chop it from all sorts of directions to get that off. But anyway, because they couldn't get a full width four inch cut up blade in that way to cut it off. But anyway, so the plan is uh, just a bit of flat, weld the nut onto it and bolt it into here. I might go and clean myself up a bit first. Bloody filthy after cutting all that crap up. Alrighty, so uh, I've got a few different things on the go at once here. Uh, I've got things that are cooling down, I've got things that are drying after being painted. So I thought I'd uh, get on with shooting up the lead screw. So uh, I'm just going to do that. Well, I should have checked my bearing stock before I started this. I could have sworn I still had uh, two of these thrust bearings here, but I've only got one. But in reality, you only really need one. So uh, this is a bit too much here that I've machined off. It doesn't matter uh, because the nuts weigh inboard from where that is. So it doesn't matter. So I uh, keep going. Well, there we go. Machined up. These fit on here nice. Well, I just got this out of the pack. It's just a new one that I uh, bought to replace the one I broke. Have a go at this. Look at it. That hole in there is nearly 12.3. Ridiculous. This is 12. Or it's 11.97. But look at that. I'll have to shim it or something. That's bloody hopeless. Oh well. Too late to think about it now. And I thought another one could end up with something even worse than that. Anyway, on we go. Onwards and upwards. Alrighty. So uh, on the other end, I've got a couple of these uh, lying around, but they're only 10 mil, not 12 mil. But they'll do. Uh, I forgot to mention that this is an ER32 20 mil collet. This is a 19 millimetre shaft. And it just would not tighten down on it. And uh, I found that I tried one wrap of uh, soft drink can, and it still, oh, still wouldn't grip it. 
but I tried two wraps of soft drink can and found that they that would hold it. Didn't have much, this much trouble putting it in last time. That's my mark there. Yeah, it just wouldn't grip it without uh, without this little bit of shimming in there. It just would not grip it. Wouldn't close down. It's supposed to close down to 19 mil, but wouldn't grip this thing. I tried to uh, hit the end of it with a center drill and just started pushing it back up in the collet. Alrighty, I'll get on with that. That looks a bit tapered without the live center in it. But anyway, this, I have no idea what I'm going to use for a power feed, so I'm just allowing extra here, and then if I have to cut it off, I have to cut it off. But this will be somewhere for me to allow me to put a power feed on the crossroad. Well, viewers, um, if you've been looking for a cheap kit to, uh, to use that are any good, these new desk art tips that I've bought are cut above the rest. That's a straight off the tip finish. I turned it around to make the final pass, but that is a magnificent finish on there. Friday morning and I'm rapidly running out of time to get this finished. Anyway, so I didn't bother to video this because this is just what I did for the uh, the other part of the base. But that's done. I'll get on with the rest of it. All I've got to say is thank God for power feeding. Old mate's got the radio, the music playing over there. I think it's his retaliation for the amount of noise I'm making. Lunchtime. Well, that's that side of it done. Check out this. That's how much swarf I've taken off this lump of material. This bag full. Unbelievable. And there's still a pile on the floor. All right, turn it around, do the other side. And that's that housing taken care of. Put some bolt holes in it. Just clean the edges up and that one's done. Just ran into a screw, I think. Well, a bolt cap it. <clears throat> this tap's definitely getting blunt. I think this is. That's more difficult to tap threads with this now than it used to be. These bolts are a bit short, but it'll do just to check it. bolt on there. After I drill some holes in it of course. Well that's the micrometer dial uh, halfway there, still got to machine the face out of it but I've got to get off that bolt first. Uh, me, I've machined up the, uh, the little bush that that runs on. Uh, still got to uh, put the keyway in it yet but we're getting there but I don't think I'm going to get it done this afternoon. Maybe but I doubt it. Alrighty so uh, that's the micrometer dial pretty much finished machining. Just needs to have all the, uh, the line markings and numbering put on it. I've given it the same treatment I gave the other one to make it, make the handle sit up in the back of it a bit better. That takes about two hours to line mark all that. And I've probably got about an hour or an hour and a bit left this afternoon before I'll have to clean up. So there's a couple of noisy jobs I still need to do. I might do that this afternoon. 
and I can get into this tomorrow morning because it doesn't make any noise to do that should be a bit of squeaking so I'll do that Sunday morning and then we'll get this damn thing published Sunday all right onwards and upwards alrighty early start this morning uh, it's just gone eight I've been here since seven doing other things um, but they're all stuff that doesn't make much noise so just being considerate to the neighbors because uh, if I start too early old mate over the road will crank his music up and it'll be annoying but anyway uh, because I didn't go through this process much with the last one I'm going to try and video as much of this as I can uh, battery life permitting I won't show it all in this video I might make a separate video on doing this but uh, I'll get on with it because this takes a good couple of hours now what you really need is a nice sharp little tool here that's ground so there's just a, a little V on the end of it you're going to need some way of locking up uh, the spindle so it can't move uh, and that's about it, and some way to index it, I use this uh, this card here, it's marked in hundreds. So I'll get on with it. Oh, oh, you need to stop, and I haven't got around the building one yet, so I'm using this G-Clean down here and a couple of blocks of aluminium to, uh, to lock it up. So you've got to set your depth in here, and once you get it, don't change it. Right, one down. None of that one to go. All right, now I'm going to have to shift the uh, the stop. Right, uh, now comes the boring bit with the doing the hundreds. We have back to zero. Let's start from there. Lucky last. All right, now that that's done, I'll. Uh, just going to take a light skim to get rid of all these dags. So uh, that's that. All the burrs off. Now I need to give it a light polish to get rid of some of the uh, lines out of it. Oh, I don't really want to put any, uh, any WD-40 on this, but let's get a better job. This brake was never meant to uh, be on there when it's running, but I need, uh, I'm going to need it to uh, do that keyway and the bit that goes in here. So Anyway, so uh, next cab off the rink is to uh, put some black in these things. I normally use some fingernail polish, but I found this, uh, this touch-up pen, black touch-up pen down in the road the other day, and I thought I'd buy it and give it a go. I cleaned this up with some uh, like a bit of, bit of thinners or something to make sure we get all that WD-40 off it. Alrighty, so that's what this is. Uh, I haven't even opened it yet, don't know what it is. I'm hoping it's a pen. Well, it looks like a little pen. Well, it is a pen. Uh, what I don't know how it's going to work though. Nah. It's hopeless. Nah, looks like I'm getting out the fingernail polish. Problem with this stuff is it's. Uh, too easy to put too much on and need <laughs> the problem getting it off again. Well you get the general idea. Alrighty, like I said it takes about two hours to do this. It's, it's about quarter past ten at the moment. So uh, get in we'll sand this paint off and try not to take too much and make too much of a mess of it. Okay, just a quick example of how I uh, number stamp these. One of these days I might uh, get round to making myself up a jig for doing this. Uh, for the time being, this will do. So I've just got a bit of sandpaper in there to protect this. There's a piece of cardboard under there to protect the, uh, the bottom, the knurl. And then I use this to hold the, uh, the number stamp straight up and down. 
in there and give it. A bit of a love tap. And there it is. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You beauty. Well, viewers, there we have it. Five weeks of blood, sweat, and frustration. <laughs> uh, if you've enjoyed this build up to this point in time, uh, how about giving it a great big thumbs up? And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, consider doing so. Well, this is it. I'm really happy with uh, the way it's come up. Uh, Everything works really nice, um, you know, considering the condition the thing was in when I, when I first started on it, it's come up really nice. A uh, couple of little things to do yet, not 100% finished, got to finish fitting the adjusting screws here and make a plate for that end, but outside of that, it's done. So, thanks for hanging in there, and uh, I've already started on the mill, so that'll be the next cab off the rank. This table was made to go on that mill, so uh, that's what I'll be doing. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.